on the way to the Ember Village, the indigenous people here, and my GoPro has gone down. So we're gonna film all this with the iPhone. Hopefully it works, hopefully we get good pictures here, and we're on the way. Haley, are you pumped? <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited. Except right now I'm kind of hot. And I look probably stupid, but I just didn't want my hat to fly away. No, you don't look stupid at all. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. You okay? You're gonna meet the indigenous people, Nina? <laughs> what does that mean? What? Indigenous. Indian. That's a nice way to say it. So here we are. This is the branch of the Panama Canal. This looks great. So here I am in the Embro Village with my little girl, uh, all my girls. We've lost one back there. Be careful. Oh, okay. the and we are walking up to the tribe. Uh, they're really neat. They walk, gave us a nice little welcome with the instruments. And the, come here, what's wrong? Okay, well then stand here. And the people that welcomed us were gorgeous. See, I'm telling you, these are beautiful people. beautiful their hair is. I can get over it. What's your name, honey? Anna. Anna? Hello, Hola. this is Anna. And this is what's your name? Emily. Emily. How old's this little guy? Anios, how old? Anna. Five? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Hello. Look, he's your age. This little guy, see him? Okay. Okay, nice. yeah. And then hand her one, which is she's little. 
Por acá Mira. hay cola. Hola. Mira. La cola está acá. Take it from, acá está la Take it from her. Yeah. No, no, no. Gracias. Aquí está la cola. Thank you. Ah. Okay, Nancy. And now the tribe is going to take us on a nature walk through their to their village here. And what are, what are the flowers for? La viene the flowers? Eh, to her. Y también la cebada. Yo hago granola con el avena. Avena. Ah, no, so okay. so, so, so. Pero no sabía que se puede usar el flor. Banana flowers. And if they fit, you eat them or you use it? No, they're just pretty. Uh, they're just to look at. Only uh, made in fusion, the like a tea, uh -huh. for cholesterol. Oh, cholesterol. Uh -huh. My cholesterol is very high. Maybe I need to take a <laughs> <Okay>. bunch home. <laughs> so we're going deep into the forest here with the embred guide. Not inbred, embred. With an E. So deep here in the forest, it's, it's really neat because the plants are so dense that they cut, they make like a little tunnels. They just cover you, they cover you right up. It's like a little highway under here. I got you, stay right next to me. Okay. So era un árbol. The trunk of the tree. Yeah. Good for uh, Oh, wiping off your shoes. Hola. Ya sé. Now what what kind of a tree is this? Quipo. Más grande de América, ella llega a medir casi tres metros de envergadura y uno un metro y medio de alto, o sea, es casi igual de alto a nosotros. Entonces sus pichones son muy grandes y necesitan anidar. We've now made it out of the jungle. What a great track it was, Nina. What did you think of that jungle track? I liked it a little bit. You liked it a little bit. It was pretty. It was a little intense. But we're gonna spend probably 30 minutes back in our hotel room getting the mud off our shoes and legs. But it was lots of fun. And here I'm gonna show you some of the their dwellings now. Just the indigenous homes. This is uh, really well crafted. I mean, look at the roofs on these things. I wonder how many palm branches that takes. This is where they're hanging out down here. And there's a butterfly. So today we have the girls and I have come to the Panama Canal, which I haven't seen it yet. I'm pretty impressed already. Actually, way out of Panama City. For those who've never been to Panama City, I thought it was right, you know, just a couple blocks away from the town. No, it's not. It's about a 30 to, what, 45 minute drive? 30 minutes? So it is a little bit outside the city. Worth the drive. We're going to come here. We're going to eat lunch. We're going to see some boats go through the locks. And we'll bring you along with us. I would highly recommend this restaurant to anyone coming out to see the canal. What a great view. The food is moderately priced, but I mean, you can't beat the view. You're paying for the view. And here we are at the locks right now. The kids are inside eating, but I mean, what a wonder. And we made this thing, what, a hundred years ago? And there's a boat coming through right now. It's pretty amazing. I, I, I still can't believe how, how they've done this here. It's Nuts.
little miniature trains tugging this boat through. seen one time but what a modern model and in the distance the bridge of America so I know my girls aren't as excited as me They're probably not but we're actually on the way into the Panama Canal honey any thoughts oh I'm so excited I'm actually more excited than he is he is totally lying So my lovely uh, just decided to pick up some sludge out of the water and put it on her face as a as a mustache, a mustache. Yeah. And here, if you look, I mean, look how beautiful this is. Martinez random. Martinez random. That is true. This is really cool no. for him. What? Oh no! Oh. And, um, they are so cute. <laughs> and, and this one, the tail is not This So we're getting ready to do our cave tour today. They told me not to take my phone. I took it anyway. I was scary as hell. Oh shit, that was loud. <laughs> and it's fucking cold when you jump in. I think. So here we are. Oh my god, I think I got my helmet on backwards. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Martinka, are you ready? I'm so ready. I gotta fix my helmet. It's messed up. Oh. I snatched it real fast. Isn't this great? Martinka! Oh, I 
Yeah, you're gonna go now we're gonna with your friends. Okay, okay, okay. I love you. No, it's for the tape. I know, I love you. Well I love you too, but don't you wanna talk about your experience? I mean it's it's beautiful. It's just one of the best experiences ever. It was pretty much dangerous there. So we were walking up of the uh of the stream. What did you think about the rapids? It's just did you hear did, did you see bats? No. Yeah, there were plenty of them. This is great. I'm having a blast. Oh man. I'm telling you guys, you gotta come. You have got to come. So we're here at the Gamboa National Forest to go on the tram through the trees to the treetops. And apparently, according to my daughter Nina, we're going to find some slots. Accident car, yeah. yes, and dogs kill the mothers mm -hmm. uh, uh, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Human, really? human, yeah, kills human. the mother yeah. for take out the baby. Really? For yeah. a pet? Huh? To take as a pet? Yes. For That's pets, mean. Yeah. Wow. A pet or eat the mother? Yes, in the indigenous, in the, in the in indigenous community for kill the mother yeah. for eat. Oh, the the indigenous. Yes, yes. Now, do they have um, jaguars here? Yes. And they eat and these too. Jaguars, ocelots. Um, Look how cool he is. He I know. He doesn't even the, the principal predator is harp eagle. Like, oh, the eagles. Yes, harp eagle. Yes. Uh, now, let me ask you this: How long have you worked here at the uh, sanctuary? Here, mm -hmm. me. Okay, uh, only one year old here. Oh, really? Yes, you like it? Yes, yes, I like it. Yes. So here we go on our aerial tram ride into the jungle. I've never been on one of these before. I'm trying to get both phones going here, or both cameras. It's a huge snake there. Is there? No. Because they're really loud. And there's no hazard markers here. And I heard a hazard marker on the side. Now I'm going to stay. And they said fun to that. Oh, I've forgotten. We have this to listen to. Wow, this is really relaxing. I mean, look at that. How close we come to these trees. The Girls, uh, don't just mess around. Look at all this stuff, too. We're up way, going way up in the oh forest here. Good Lord, I'm going to poop in my jeans. What if we, we go higher? It sucks. Towering trees and surrounding. Oh, wait, there's something down there. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my god, I'm literally oh Nina or oh Haley shh. Hey. You're I'm freaking out. This is awesome. Videos. This is so really a neat it. neat thing. I'm really Dad, glad. What I'm if doing we this. go higher than this? We're gonna go way higher than this. We are literally Dad, that was nothing. It was just the uh okay. leaves. There's no animal. It's so beautiful up here, it's so amazing. There goes our other group. That was our group that we were with. And they're on the way back and we lost them. But that's Ooh, okay. We're this going is to great. The naked hills. Naked hills? We are so high up for me. I'm very afraid of heights. But. Hey, late, you're fine. We're in a boat. Break out of your comfort zone. We're genuinely going up like another 100 feet. <laughs> wow. So we're on the way to the top of the observation tower and it's a long walk up. I've been holding Nina most of the way. Whew. Really cool though. I mean they really put a lot of money and time and work into this resort here to put all this stuff basically out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Oh, thank you, Nina. She's having so much fun with the little guide, little guided tour they have for her on the, the audio tour. Whoo! Okay, I will join you guys at the top because I'm not as in shape as I should be. Okay. And here we are at the top. We made it. 
How many meters is this? Uh, the tower, 30 meters. 30 meters, uh, 90 feet, but above the sea level, around 160 meters. 160 above meters. The from the first stage. So we're at about four or 500 feet. Mm -hmm. Wow. And what's your name? Cristal. Cristal. I'm Justin. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. So she's a lovely guide stuck at the top today. <laughs> if you want some picture together in here, we can, I can take for you. Remember in this side, group, we have the Gatu Lake. So from the top here, here's the lake. What's the name of this lake, honey? Uh, Chagres River. Oh, Chagres, Chagres River. River. It looks like a lake, like a mound, uh -huh. because it was done before of the creation oh, of okay. the canal. And then over here is the canal. Yes, over here. All the ship that runs in the canal pass through this lake, like this one now. And here's a ship coming through right now. So uh, we saw the <clears throat> the locks before down by Panama City, but now here are the ships actually coming through from the top. What's the name of this? Uh, Santa Playa La Huerta. Playa La Huertas. 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 Yeah. It's like a desolate little really? beach we got here by boat. Very, very cool. Yeah. You were prepared for everything. <laughs> yeah, That's this is awesome. my job. That's awesome. To be sure that you are doing the place. Look at these kids here playing on the tree. Perfect little hey, hey, diving board that just hey. fell down for them. It's always kind of raining here in Panama. Just a light drizzle this time of year, but it's still really nice. I'm about to get in for another swim. The water here is great. Our, uh, our guy who brought us down to the beach, I'm gonna introduce you to him. Okay, so this is my brother Danny here. Hello, everybody. He took us uh, out here. He got us the boat. He got us. He brought us in the car. So, what's the name of this uh, place again? So, this is Playa de las Huertas. Uh, we are in Puerto Velo. Um, this is a really historical place because uh, Christopher Colombo, who discovered the America for the, the Europe, he sailed for all these coasts and started to name all the different places that we have now, like Puerto Velo. Um, in fact, the province, the main province is called Colón in honor to Christopher Columbus. So it, when you see Justin, when we were, you know, uh, coming to the beach, uh, we saw some forks. Yeah. Because it was pirate territory some times ago. So what does it mean? So usually the pirates used to sail for all of this weather in order to attack the Spanish uh, forks because they want to have, you know, the, all the wealth, the uh, gold, the silver that the Spanish take from all the countries in America and they take in the boat and sell to Europe. I am on a tricycle. It's crooked as hell. The, uh, <laughs> the tires are completely bald, but I'm cruising on the causeway just outside Panama City, Panama. The weather's finally beautiful. I'm meeting up with the girls. Here we go. Ladies. Hey, honey. On the way home, I have to stop at a cash machine. Or the way back here, okay? I'm watching you. We're going. Definitely getting a workout. Going to the gym this morning, I shouldn't have. Ah. So we're in the old corner of Panama City. My daughters are trying to flirt with some shopkeep. Oh look, it's the, uh, the Gilded Masons. The Masonic Lodge of Panama City, that's cool. Oof. I wonder what 
this is this is like some big special place people go to. I mean, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Compared to Europe, it's not even close. But it is neat. It's nice. Not exactly sure what this is, but for some reason, I think it's the oldest building in the old town of Panama, right here. Can we go this way, Dad? Obviously, a church of some sort. I mean, I well, think Catholic that church. means you can't go um, past that. We imagine they, I mean, that arch is still there after probably four or five hundred years and it's still up there. It's pretty crazy. What was this, a prison? Yeah? Flat arch. Supported the choir of St. Dominic's Church. Well, this was a church. Ninka. You having fun? All right, don't touch that though. There's a reason there's a chain around it. What does a chain around something mean? It means you can't touch it. It means don't touch it. So definitely sounds of construction in the air here in Panama City. They are really working to rebuild the town. As you can see, there's the new city. They call it the Dubai of Central America. It really does look like Dubai. It's pretty incredible. But they're really working to do all the old downtown, you know, the old city center to make it beautiful once again. And you girls, actually, you can see, you see all the work, but turn around. You see all the work they're doing? Look how nice it is now.